Hi, my name is Lee Cleghorn. I'm the co-founder of Outer Range Brewery. We're located in Frisco, Colorado. Started the brewery in 2016 with my wife, Emily. So we've been open for a little bit more than five years now. We're located in a beautiful mountain setting. You should come visit. And uh, we're sitting here drinking beer in the Beer Gym Bar in Brussels. What made you uh, want to start the brewery? Was it a history where you uh, started in the usual garage or did you have a history? Of... Yeah, there was a little bit of a history. It actually started right here in Brussels. So I went to high school here. Um, when I was 16 years old, I was drinking some Trappist beers in downtown Brussels and fell in love with uh, the beer scene here. Obviously, you know, the best in the world and uh, learned beers when I was really young in the best place possible. Unfortunately, I moved back to the U.S. for college and wasn't old enough to buy beer. So I started brewing beer. So uh, my friends and I brewed a lot of beer in college and I guess I never stopped. What kind of styles do you really like? I'm just tasting this wonderful, hazy, you know, you've caught on the wave. I think you saw the wave with craft beers grow around you. You saw people like Stone and all that pioneering and making or breaking. And I guess you're now seeing some of the fallout up and down. How, how do you fit into that kind of scene? Yeah, so, well, we started brewing beers that inspired us and I initially fell in love with beer because of the yeast forward beers that I started drinking. So we started a brewery that was really founded on that. So we started brewing only Belgian styles with some IPAs and that was 2016 and then 2017 and the IPAs really took off so we started brewing a lot more but we brewed ester forward IPAs so hazy IPAs that are brewed with yeast that you treat in similar ways you would with a saison where you try to get great yeast aromas or yeast driven aromas and so we would brew kind of to that style for both styles of beer Belgians and and the IPAs and that's where we started now we brew everything um, but that's really where our sweet spot is how long have you been in operation and what's your current capacity of production we've been in operation for a little over five years and right now we're brewing about 6,500 liter hectoliters packaged annually uh, I think we'll be able to do a little bit more than that in our current location, um, but we won't do another production facility in Colorado. Um, that's so plan. you're expanding, you've, you've found popular, people love your beers. How, uh, how do you characterize your overall style and philosophy towards beer uh, and, and, and the craft beer scene? Because yeah. we've seen a lot of conflict, people are getting in realizing it is a commercial thing, they're, they're having sustainability issues, they're having gender issues, they're having inclusion issues, and you've seen some of the birds. How do you see this whole scene now? It's matured, I guess. It's matured, and I think that's a good thing. I think it's very simple. Uh, people love craft beer, and they continue to be your customers if you take care of them, if you take care of them by give them the best beer possible, give them a great place to come where they're respected as a customer, and you also have to treat your people well. And if you do those three things, then everything sort of falls into line. And so we are expanding, but we're expanding with a taproom focused philosophy. Uh, that's really the core of our business. So we're building another taproom focused brewery, also in the mountains, but this time it'll be in the French Alps. Okay, so you're expanding and you see yourself evolving over time as you react to the market? I mean, is it still stuff that you really want to do or like, or is it a bit more trying to meet all the demands of the market? So, we decided we wouldn't build another place unless we became better because of it. So a big reason why we're opening up in France and in Europe is because we want to learn from what's going on here. We want to learn from the market. Uh, we've come, I've, I've spent a lot of time in Europe growing up, and we've come back to Europe uh, to do collaborations, to do tap takeovers, and every time we have come, we've learned a lot. And we've realized that there's something different here. People think differently about making beer. People think differently about how to run a brewery. And so we decided we wanted to do our second location here so that we can learn from that and be a part of it. 
So we're going to try to take the best lessons we've learned so far and apply them in Europe. But we're also here to learn. So we want to learn from the market here, from other brewers here, from customers here, and take those lessons and apply them back in Colorado. So where do you plan to build this European business? And we well know what happened to Stone. I interviewed him here after the Berlin yeah. fallout where he just yeah. got frustrated with the whole European yeah. attitude. You're used to Europe and the whole thinking and but how do you how do you split that? Yeah, no, I mean uh, Europe is a different market and I would say maybe unlike that we're not trying to conquer it we're here to learn from it um, we're really inspired by what's going on here and we know it's going to make us better to be here um, we're a small brewery and we're creating another small brewery uh, in the Alps and we're a customer focused brewery where our tap room is really the core of our business and that's what we're recreating that's what we know how to do we know how to create a tap room take care of our customers and make beer that they like to drink and listen to what they want. So you're thinking where, or have you already decided? Or? We've already decided, we have the location. It's in Solange, which is a city that is right before Chamonix and a couple other ski resorts there. It's a town that's a lot like our town in Frisco, Colorado. Frisco is not a resort town. It doesn't have a mountain to ski, but it's right near a bunch of other towns that are just like that. And that's a lot like Solange. And so we saw there um, a lot of similarities with where we live. It's where a lot of people live that work at the mountains or are supported by the industry there. And we're going to create a place for them to drink beer. Well, very brave of you. And I really hope it works out when we can visit you. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much.